Hi, welcome back to Hacking. Today we're going to pull down a file from a website and then try to find a file in the list of files contained in the zip file that doesn't match the MD5 sum of the contained MD5 sum list. So I'm going to go ahead and W get this file. You can put in the, oops, you can put in the HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.109. I think it's in my labs folder and it is images.tar.gz. So I'll go ahead and grab that and I've got the file. So if I look, I can see that now I've downloaded the file, 72K, and I'm going to extract that. So I'm going to say tar xvzf images tar gz. And it just create a whole bunch of files, it looks like. So if I look in there, I've got a whole bunch of files in this directory now. And I don't want to check each one of these files to see what's in each one. I just want to see which one is different. Which of these images files, is, which one's different. So I'll just grab one. I'll look at one really fast and see what it is. Oh, we can see that it says hello and gives the file number. Hello 083. That's great. Well, there's an md5sum.txt file here. So I'm going to cat that and look at that. Oh, look at that. Well, it gives me the, the md5 sum of every one of the PNG files in the directory. So these md5 sums should match. So if I go through and just pick one, so I'll grab file 97 and I do md5 sum file 097 PNG, then we'll look that right there does match this right here. So those do match. Now, how would I generate a list where I can compare these? There are a couple of ways you can do it. There are some programmatic ways you can do them. And then of course there is, uh, there's numeric. You can start numeric, install numeric and run that just in a spreadsheet and look at them side by side. Or you can use something called sdiff. And we're gonna use sdiff today. So I'm gonna type md5sum star png and output md5sum.new. Now that file should have created, if I do the new, that md5sum file. Excellent. So if I look at the .txt, which is an old file, and the new file, you'll be able to see, actually you can already tell the difference. You can see the difference there. But we're going to use sdiff and we're going to type the md5sum.txt and md5sum.new and run that. On wherever you see that pipe symbol, that means that file is different. I'm going to decrease my font here and we'll let it fit on one screen. So let me do this. Clear. I'll do that. Now when we look at it, we can see them right across one line right there. So I'll increase my font size back up so you can see it more easily. And you can see that pipe symbol. So what file is that? That's file 092. So if we want to look at that file, let me bring my prompt back up here. I'll type I have gnome and we'll do the file 092 PNG and there it is. So we found the exploit that says the exploit is here. If I can get over to it. Dragging over to the top of the file. Come on. Come on. Oh my word. One. There. There. Exploit is here. So that was the file that was different. The MD5 sum on file 92, when we checked it, it did not match what it originally was in the enclosed md5sum.txt file. So over here, we saw the images.targz. We extracted that. We got all the PNG files and an md5sum file. We check the md5sum of the files and we did an sdiff and we discovered that the md5sum was different on one of the files than the other. In this case, just catting the md5sum.txt and then catting the md5sum.new, we can see the difference because you can see it change right there in the middle of the screen. So if the file was up here, it'd be a whole lot harder to tell. That's it. That's how to take a list of md5sums 
create a new list of MD5 sums and then compare the two. I hope this helps.